Bonjour. It's time once again to go racing here in Montreal, the second largest French-speaking city in the world and home since 1978 to the Canadian Grand Prix. If you want flat-out racing, you've come to the right place this weekend, as it's full throttle for 59% of this 2.7-mile circuit, peaking at around 210 miles per hour going into the final chicane. But that speed requires discipline, and there are more than a few close walls here just waiting to punish drivers with a heavy right foot. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position and Smith completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Magnussen, Verstappen, Jordan King and Gasly, Stroll, Ocon, Bottas and Quan Yu Zhou, Aitken, Leclerc, Daniel Kvyat and Russell, Norris, Sainz, Nicholas Latifi and Alexander Albon, De Vries, Matsushita, Giovinazzi. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Luca Giotto. That's it then. It's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. Finish last race. Let's aim to keep the momentum going. Okay, so the Mercedes Father F1 drivers. Sebastian Vettel had a pretty good and again and again a fantastic practice and qualifying. He actually put his car in pole position again. How many times is that? And Shay Smitty is alongside him, qualified in second position. So let's go down to race strategy. So it's an 18 lapper of the Canadian Grand Prix track. Temperature is 29 degrees, air 20. So we will alter this a bit. Let's go 9 on the softs and 9 on the mediums. No, man. Yes, we want that, man. No, man, we want that. Thank you. And we will f fill this thing up because we don't trust it. So, yeah, let's put that much in. So, in the last two, two in the last two Grand Prix, I apologise for the non-commentary. So, race seven and race eight had no commentary. So, today, hopefully, it will be commentary working. So, let's get down to the grid and start off the Canadian Grand Prix. Waiting for all five lights to go out. Start of the 2025 Canadian Grand Prix. And it's a great start. Start of the 2025 Canadian Grand Prix. Five lights are out and Sebastian Vettel and Shay Smitty are on the front row so we will go on board with Sebastian Vettel for one or two laps because he's a race leader and we will go through from one to five or six depending on the race length in this case it's a Canadian Grand Prix so it's an 18 lap of this Grand Prix so Sebastian Vettel once again put his car on pole position outstanding practice and qualifying same goes for Shay Smitty both cars are very similar in stature looks like Shay is in a bit of a tussle at the moment for second If I don't commentate much, it means I am concentrating on the race. And once again, smashing metal. Can he break Shades Smitty's dominance after winning the last Grand Prix? So, start of lap two. So 
two and we will stay on board with Sebastian Vettel still Bros is growing so nicely but it looks like this weekend it looks like Mercedes for the F1 racing team have got some new sponsors on board on their car Good to see Formula One is growing around the world. This is the Canadian Grand Prix and it's a very quick track. So Vettel, Smitty, Magnussen and Jordan King, they're all on the Super Softs tyres. They are your top four, the Mercedes and the AlphaTauri Hondas. Now we will go on board with Chase Mini. <coughs> oh, sorry. This is that free. A lot of downforce on Chase's car compared to Vettel's. I think Chase Mini likes the handling of his car, that's why it's basically touching the ground. <laughs> Beautiful driving. Oh, Chase kind of touched the wall there. That was kind of a windy race. In certain aspects of the track. We will stay on board with Shay for one more lap. This is lap four, is looking really good actually. Beautiful racing. Just look at the artwork on this game. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Heard on the radio that Shay Smitty is having some issues with his car, a lack of power at the moment. It's not major at the moment, but it will be a thing in the next race. So we are jumping on board with, is that Kevin Magnussen or John King? In this case, it's Kevin Magnussen who we are on board with, that Alfa Toro. This is lap five. And we should, and we believe that Chase, uh, Sebastian Vettel is coming in in lap 8, and Chase ready in lap 9 into the pits. Who is looking forward to F1 21, the brand new Formula 1 game coming out in a couple of months? Should be very good seeing that. Looking forward to playing it. Man. Round board with Jordan King. He's having an absolute blind of the season, John King. 
is in a very good car now in Avatore after spending his rookie season with Mercedes Fiber, then not earning a single point, then heading over to Haas Racing. Also not getting any points, and now driving with Avatore, he is fourth or fifth in the Drivers' Championship. What an absolute gun. Red Bull and a Mercedes AMG car behind Alfa Torres. Jordan King doing his thing. <laughs> now we will go on board. Vip and Red Bull in. Is that Max Verstappen? It sure is. Sounds quite nice, the Red Bull. And my name is Pierre Gasly. And I'm saying it's AMG Racing Car. Mood with with Sebastian Vettel. I think this is lap seven we are on. Possibly. <laughs> Car's getting kind of squirmy. He is absolutely pushing his Mercedes Fiverr racing car. Sebastian Vettel is coming into the pits. Now he's putting on the mediums. And Kevin Magnussen is also there. Who is that? That is... Danny Kibia. Now we are on board with Sebastian Metal. Now let's go on board with Shay Spinney. Now he is in the lead for a short term. So this will be Lap 9 is coming in. And you can't tell because he's definitely pushing. Absolutely brilliant driving so far this season. And also Shay Swinney is going on the mediums. Shake in front of the McLaren and 
the Avatari. And it sure does. Even though Shay Swinney is not driving against Danny Kivyet, it's the Alpha Toro driver is rowed up Kevin Magidson and Jordan King. But can Shay Smitty catch up to Sebastian Metal? Alright, now we're going on board with Danny Kiviak of the McLaren. I haven't seen much of him and it's an up 10 of the Canadian Grand Prix 2025 season 6 of the Mercedes Father. My team career mode. Danny Kvyat, he's just holding up the Alfa Toro drivers in Magnussen and John King. And now Vettel and Shay Smitty are starting to get a bit of a gap. About three or four seconds now. Magnussen will be saying, move the hell away. And now he has a clear run. So we're on board. With Kevin Magnussen, and this is a lap 11, and right behind him is his teammate in Jordan King. Just listen to that Honda powered Formula One racing car. They got a lot of catching up to do. Can they work like a team? Jordan King, this is lap 12. Six laps remaining. And it looks like there is rain on the way. Should hit, up, should hit us around lap 16, 17 or 18 getting an awful lot darker now. On board with the Red Bull of Kevin, no, Maxi Verstappen. Lap 
that third aim. And by the line him is Pierre Gasly. racing hopefully everyone has been enjoying the chase video Mercedes Fiber Air Front racing team my career my team career it's been pretty fun making it and bring it bring it bringing it to you so now we're gonna go on board with Pierre Gasly this is that 14 of the Canadian Grand Prix. Hopefully everyone is doing all right, enjoying it, keeping safe at home, as you should be doing. I think we have a new race leader now, so let's get back up to the leaders. And there is Sebastian Vettel. Now he is in second spot. Oh wow, I haven't seen that camera view angle before. Oh, is that Shay Smitty? That might be Shay Smitty, sorry. I think it is. Shay is. If it is Shay, he's trying to catch up big time. And if that's the case, we will stay on these two cars for the remainder of the Grand Prix and it is also Shay Smitty. So this is lap 15. Can Shay catch up to Vettel? There's probably there's about three laps remaining of this Grand Prix. And Shay has definitely pushed his car. Could it be? Oh, gee. That. If Sh can Shay Smitty make it two Grand Prix victories in a row? Oh, oh, there's a bit of a tap between teammates. Can this be the moment? Shay's got DRS on. He should be able to overtake him. Can he do it? Can he do it? And yes, he has done it. And now it's starting to rain here in Canada. Shane Smitty is the new race leader. And this is lap 16. Fantastic driving from the young Australian. So we're going to go on board with Sebastian Vettel now. He has led every single lap from start to lap 15 of the Canadian Grand Prix. And Shay Smitty has overtaken him to lead the Grand Prix now. What a drive. I think the tyres are getting affected by the rain now. Start of another lap. On board with Shea Boy. <coughs> Possibly the last lap we are on now. And Shay will definitely bring this car home. It's track conditions is getting a bit wet now, so you have to be super careful. It's 
see battle slow down quite a lot then Shay Smitty. He is the winner of the game. His teammate comes. Well done, boys. Awesome racing. Can Shay Smitty hold on and win the 2025 Canadian Grand Prix? His teammate Sebastian Vettel is hot on his heels and it has been raining for two laps. Can Shay? He's the car across the finishing line, and it is, oh, the fuel Caution. lights came on. Caution. Here we go. Shay wins the Canadian Grand Prix. 2025 season, season six. Fantastic job. <laughs> oh, that makes two race victories in a row. Driver day goes to Alexander. Well done to Team Father, F1 Racing Team. Well done, Shay Smitty and Sebastian Vettel. A double podium. Esteban Ocon finishing knife for Renault. A show stopping performance from the three drivers. There's the champion straight off Australian Shay Smitty in first and second. That's the German sure. Sebastian Battle and in third it is Kevin Mackinson the Dane. Well done boys. Good team effort all round.